Hi, and welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Scott. I'm Scott Rajivori of Titus Contracting. We are a commercial and residential remodeling company in the Twin City, uh, Saint, Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Uh, we talk about what we love here at Titus, and that's doing remodel work. And so we're going to discuss today the topic of opening up your uh, main floor, uh, taking out walls, opening up the space, and uh, making it something that that's feels uh, welcoming and open and uh, that your, your uh, visitors can enjoy as you try to entertain. Uh, that's often the reason for this is people are, are um, entertaining and they need more space. Uh, they want to have something where they can communicate and, and uh, socialize with those people that are at their home during meal preparation and whatnot. So um, first of all, to start off the episode, we want to wish Lee Lawrence a happy birthday. He's one of the owners of Titus Contracting. Happy birthday, Lee. So getting into this, you can see the link that we've posted. Um, there's some things to consider when you're doing this, things that are really important, things you can do on your own. Uh, you can look at before having somebody like us come out and um, discuss this with you. Um, so that would be, first of all, go down below the space. Um, so usually this is over a basement. That's usually the case. Look below the area that you're going to be removing the walls and try to identify if there's anything up there that might create issues like plumbing pipes, um, significant wiring, uh, uh, heating or uh, cold uh, supply or, or return air for heating, things like that. Often you're going to find that the walls you want to remove will have uh, things of that nature. And, and if, if it's a major pipe, like say a, a three or four inch waste, um, that's a big deal. That's going to be a, a big budget item. Often we can figure out a way to move it. Often we can get creative with some type of dropped um, ceiling area that we axe on a space or whatever. But but this is something to, to take uh, seriously to, to prepare yourself because not every wall can come out even if it's not load bearing. Number two is if you can do it, try to figure out if that wall you're wanting to remove is load bearing or not. Um, sometimes that's easy, sometimes that's not so easy. Older homes, if you've got something that's, say, pre-70s, um, it may be a little more difficult. Uh, we get into these houses, wonderful houses in the Minneapolis area, St. Paul area, and some really cool neighborhoods that um, the bearing lines don't li line up. There's nothing that really makes sense. But if you go in your basement and you, you look for that bearing wall, which is usually a one continuous wall or a beam, um, and you pay attention to where that comes out, above or that lines up above you'll know that um, you've got a that you have a bearing wall that you're dealing with and um, that's a critical too because sometimes that affects the overall design uh, you might have to have a dropped header which is um, a header that comes down below the ceiling height because there's vents and things coming through the ceiling above so that will play into this and how this all works so figuring out bearing is important um, then it is just, you know, how do you define the space? What, what is it, how open do you want it to be? How do you want, do, do you want something that kind of separates the, 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 the great room or um, a sitting room or a family room, um, informal dining from the kitchen space? And that can be done um, through different means, whether it's a, a ceiling feature, a coffered ceiling, a, a dropped area, whatever. But how open do you want it to be? Do you just want some partial walls? Do you want you know, sometimes we need columns. Do we work those columns into the overall design so it allows us to create that separation? So think about that, what you might, how you might separate space, or if it, even if that's important to you. Another thing that's important to people is, and we had uh, somebody uh, make a post on one of our, our Facebook uh, posts that said, well, I don't want to open space because you see everything. Well, if you don't keep a clean kitchen, maybe you don't want this. But even if you don't keep the cleanest kitchen, it's thinking about, how do you position a sink or certain things so that they aren't seen? And that's, that's easily handled. Sometimes it's a, a raised bar wall where you've got a seat, sitting area uh, in your kitchen that um, has stools at it where you have it raised above the lower area that might have the sink. Uh, sometimes it's just a partial wall that hides that, um, that range. Sometimes it's a cool cabinet around a, a refrigerator that, that uh, makes that look built in or is built in that kind of hides some things. Um, pantries, there's all kinds of ways we can, we can get creative so that you don't feel like you have to be nervous about people seeing your, your um, kitchen space because it's open. So 
Um, the best thing you can do is to call someone like us, Titus Contracting, and, and discuss your questions either over the phone or set up a, a meeting with us so that we can discuss your needs, wants, and wishes and kind of go through what the options are. Um, it's hard for you as a homeowner if, to, to think through these things. Um, we've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for over 30 years. I, I think I know what I'm doing, so often we can, can give you some get, good insight and help you with directions as far as that concerns. And we love to do it. We'd love to do it with you. So um, you can reach out to us through Facebook. You can call us uh, at Titus Contracting, email us, whatever you want to do. We'd love to participate. Know that every contractor right now is super busy. If you're thinking about a project, especially for the holidays, if you wanted to have a kitchen um, or a lower level finish before Thanksgiving or Christmas, um, Hanukkah or whatever uh, uh, celebrations you might participate in, Think about it now because everybody's going to be out of ways and it's going to be difficult to fit those projects in. So don't delay. Don't wait till after the school season starts because you're busy. It's good to be thinking about it now. So again, I'm Scott Rajivori with Titus Contracting. We're a residential and commercial remodeler in the Twin City area. We love talking about what we do, so that's why we do this. So hopefully this has been helpful. Have a great day.